Hey, my dude. Hey. Hello, you are live. Thank you for coming out, man. Nice. Thanks. I know it's a it's little okay. bit weird. Uh, what do you mean? Um, like it's like weird to be on a show and stuff. Like I like uh because I know yeah. you initially were like, hey, like maybe I can just chill on this, but uh <laughs> the uh the benefit, right, is that um it, there may be a lot of people that could that could benefit from your question and might uh get a lot out of it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, by the way, sorry if I have an accent. No, um, no, it's cool, dude. I love people with accents. <laughs> it makes you nice. more exotic. <laughs> I uh, should have like a, maybe a combination of a Russian and French accent or something. I don't know. It's pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend's Polish, so or my nice. fiance, yeah, yeah. So I, I, she's she's got the Russian memes down. I'm from uh, Ukraine, but I moved to France with my family. Wow, that's crazy! So your your country's going nuts right now, right? Because yep. uh, yeah, everything's going bananas. I haven't followed the news too much, but I mean, it's well, you just have to look outside, right? Looking too good. <laughs> uh, no, I'm I'm living in France. Now. Yeah, but France is going crazy because of the um because of the ah, you uh, you meant, I thought you meant Ukraine. Oh no no okay. no! The no. <laughs> Ukraine is going crazy in another way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, France. Uh, I don't know. Like, not not that much. Oh, it's pretty. In France. It's pretty know. light. Uh, like there's not that much crazy stuff happening. I don't know. But again, I don't follow the news too much. I watch more like American news because I watch Destiny and, and yeah. like other YouTubers. Right? Yeah, uh, so, uh, yeah. I never thought of Steven as a news source, but I guess he could be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I mean, he al he always like reviews like. The like the new political stuff, like the um, in, indictments and so on. That's true. Well, we have a we have quite the shit show going on in America right now. There's no end to yep. the amount of news. Yeah. Like every time I see like something about Trump, I don't know. I just can't believe that it's real. We can't believe it either. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the same over here. We can't believe it either. <laughs> Oh, this seems so surreal. Yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a weird time to be an American for sure. It really is. Well, um, um, so why don't you uh, tell everybody like kind of like what you're all about and like what your uh, what your question is and like I think we can like work it out. And then what I'll also do is I'll put it on stream and text because I know that I talk really fucking fast. And if like English isn't your first language, then sure. it'll be easier to read later. Yeah. I mean, I can understand, like, I can understand the uh, orally pretty good, but I'll just not talk very well. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, sure, it will be helpful if you actually write it down. Um, so, I guess I'm 18 mm -hmm. years old. I just finished high school, I guess, the, at the beginning of the summer. Um, and... Like I hopefully I'm gonna like find a job and start living by myself soon, uh, by uh, somewhere in September. So I want to like do a complete makeover of my diet and like my personal like health. Okay. Because I never really like watch uh, like never really looked after my diet um uh, yeah so like I, i'd like to change that like i'd like to maybe like take supplements uh, like um learn how to properly balance my diet like how to exercise properly etc okay um so uh i guess First thing I'd like to ask is about the um, like the meal re replacement stuff. Yep. Um, so does it like do you take uh, living fuel, right? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. So like, do you actually replace all meals with it? Or? No, no, no way. <laughs> um, the only time I'll actually use a meal replacement is if I absolutely can't get my 
um, a proper macronutrient profile from anything else. So um, let's say that my only options are like McDonald's, Burger King, or like something else, right? Like then I'll take a meal supplement to be able to make up for that. Uh, but is it possible to only live off, off of uh, living fuel? Or? Yeah, um, people no. people have done it. Um, and uh, uh, they can. Um, it, it's it's a little bit uh, of a meme kind of, um, but you definitely you definitely could. This is not something you would want to do for but let me um, can I ask a few questions and stuff? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, how tall are you? I'm like one meter cents, I think. Oh uh, shit! I don't know. What that one means. meter cents, five cents. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I could find the converter. Yeah, here we go. Google. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I don't do uh, freedom units. <laughs> no, you guys are on the real system. I understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. so it's one point what? <laughs> one point seventy five something like that. Okay, so five seven around there. Okay, um, and then how how much do you weigh? This is gonna be another meme too. Kilograms, right? Ah uh, yeah. Um, uh, wait, I did it recently. If I can need to remember. <laughs> I think it was like eighty, around eighty. Okay, so around one seventy six. Okay. Um, sure. And like, uh, if. If you could like outline like what your goals are, what what would you um do you want to be like jacked? Do you want to be like lean muscle? Like um what kind of what kind of thing do you want? I guess my first goal is to like lose uh, excess weight, mm -hmm. and uh, then I guess like make a good looking body. I don't know, like not <laughs> like not not ripped, but like lean, yeah. Okay, so um, for five seven, you probably want to be around like one sixty to one sixty five. So that would be um, let me change this into memes. Uh, so like seventy four kilograms around there. Would, would, seventy four. Yeah, seventy four to um, to seventy. You could also go a little higher um, depending on. So do you understand like how body fat percentage works? Not really, no. Okay, so that's that's good. That's like that's like how we can explain it. So, um, your weight is only one aspect of of um, of of like your sort of like physical profile. A lot of people yeah. get confused because you could weigh, um, let's say you weigh like a hundred and sixty pounds, or sorry, let's say you weigh like seventy four kilograms, and and you're yeah. about as tall as you are, right? Sure. Okay. Um. There's a, that, that like it's really possible to be what's called skinny fat, which means like you may look the part, but when someone takes you on a run or you have to do something that's cardio intensive or you have to lift weight, you just can't do it, mm -hmm. right? You mean like skinny but being bad physical shape? Um, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, okay. like what what happens is um, someone might look at you and they'll say. Hey, um, that person looks okay. They're not obese, but in fact, like mm -hmm. they might as well for every purpose be an obese person. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the reason is because of body fat percentage. So, so body fat percentage is just literally your ratio of body fat to muscle to organs to mm -hmm. extreme. Right. So, like um, a body fat a body fat percentage of something like to give you a range, right? <laughs> um, if you have like a like a seven to like eleven percent body fat percentage, you've got a six pack no matter what. Okay. Doesn't matter how much you work out your abs. Okay. Um, if you've got like a fourteen to eighteen percent body fat, you're kind of in the like average range. Well, not the average. The average is fat, but like you're in like the sort of average healthy range. Mm. And then if you go to like twenty to twenty percent. Plus, now you're starting to look at like um, pretty uh, pretty obese or, or, or overweight, right? So it's possible to have 20 to 25 percent body fat, but you look healthy, but you're mm -hmm. not. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what one what your goal would be? 
I think, would be to be at about... Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Someone from chat mentioned something. Uh, what I just described is for men. Uh, be relevant yeah, okay. to you, right? Women is a totally different thing, but since nobody on Twitch is a woman, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Um, if there's ever a woman that wants to come on and talk to me about this, and like, then I can give them more specific... So that's a good caveat. So um, the stuff that I'm talking about to him is... Um, uh, is is specific to his needs, so keep that in mind. Um, I'm not like it's going to be different for everybody. So if you're going to go to um, from from 80 kg to let's say 74 kg, and then uh, mm -hmm. you can't change your height, so that's going to stay the same. Um, so we're still going to call that five seven or whatever your current. What did you say it was one point? Uh, one point five, uh, 75 uh, around there. Okay. Um, okay. Then, um, oh. then, uh, what your goal would probably be is if I had to guess right now, uh, and this is a big guess, I would say that you're probably somewhere in the range of like 20 to, are you athletic at all? Like what's your workout schedule? <laughs> Not a, uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So like uh, maybe 18 so, to 20, uh, so right now I don't work out at all. It's it's summer, but like a few months ago I used to work out a bit. Okay. Uh, um, I would say like uh, going between like it'd probably be safe to put you between anywhere between like sixteen and twenty percent. Um, so so your goal would probably be to get that down to like twelve to fourteen percent body fat. Okay, and, and the mm -hmm. way you measure this, um is by a machine called a, uh, there's a couple of ways, but uh, I'll give you a few of them. One is my favorite, it's called a DEXA scan, it, uh, D-E-X-A. Mm -hmm. D -E -X -A. And so a DEXA scan is um, the same machine they use to measure osteoporosis, which is like bone problems. So they're available in any hospital, um, any, like, uh, any like clinic, you can get like a, um, you can probably get a test for like 20 euros. Okay. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. And, uh, then calipers are the other way, which are like body test machines. And you might find those at like some like advanced gems and stuff like that. But, um, whatever mm -hmm. method you use to, 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 to track your body fat, you need to consistently use that method, um, every time. Okay. Does that make sense? Should, should, yeah. Should I like track my progress or yeah. only like, uh, like do it when I want to know if I reached the goal or so you should like do it regularly. You should do it now and that should be your base. And then okay. after that, you should do it like every, I'd say like four to six months. Okay. And this will give you a good barometer, a kind of a good measurement of um, where you're going and, and, and what okay. to change. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, all right. So let's do the first thing, which is going to be, um, losing weight. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I think the easiest, what's your, how do you eat right now? <laughs> I have no idea. Like I eat kind of randomly, like at random times, random things. I don't know. Okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> so I think, um, Intermittent fasting is going to work for you. Um, and you mentioned that in your DM. Yeah. Where uh, I would choose either uh, 16 hours of no eating uh, or mm -hmm. 20 hours no eating. And then you have either eight. So it's either eight hours, uh, eight hour eating period or four hour okay. eating period. Um, and I like 24, but you should start with 16, eight. And so what this is going to do is mm. this is going to um, make it so that you are at, you eat less to total, probably because you won't be snacking mm. and you won't be, um, you won't be like eating excess stuff or tempted to eat stuff outside of your window that you shouldn't eat. So okay. like, let's say normally at like one o'clock you have, um, a ton of like cookies or something, right? You you won't mm. you'll be you won't eat 
that because you won't be allowed to. And then when you actually get to the period of time that you can eat, you'll be more interested in eating whole foods because you know you have a limited amount of time. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So um, right there, I think if you do nothing else but intermittent fast and you don't change your diet at all, I actually predict that you would probably lose six kilograms. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you're on a 20, 20, uh, 20 hour um, no eating window. <clears throat> so is it like... Every day I spend 16 hours not uh, fasting and then eight hours like the win is the window for eating. Yeah. So the way to think about it is, um, uh, so for, 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 for me, I'll usually eat between the hours of 8 PM, uh, mm -hmm. to, to midnight. A and, okay. and so that's, there... so eight, yeah. nine, 10, 11, 12, right? That's four hours. And is then I there just... Any difference in choosing like the time of day no difference whatever works for you okay uh the, the the most important thing is the amount of time that you're not eating okay and the only thing you should consider having during that period of no eating is um either green tea or black coffee and water of uh, course yeah okay but everything okay. else is is off limits everything all right. Mm -hmm. because, a, because a critical part of intermittent fasting is that you're not triggering your, um, uh, your metabolic system, like your, your, your metabolism basically to start, uh, con to start digesting, mm. which throws your whole body out of, uh, out of whack. And by the way, I also heard that like smelling food could trigger it. That's what I mean. No, no so, way. <laughs> no. Yeah, it would. It would only be a. Um, mm -hmm. It would. You would have to have something that um, uh, uh, was like glucose based. So any any kind of sugar that would trigger an insulin response, which would trigger a metabolic response. So you could like okay. you can sniff all the pastries you want, and you're gonna be okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um. So so what's so I like to be really simple, right? Um. And and, and so you should sure. set goals that are um very very easy for you to follow like um if you take all of this advice right away uh you probably won't do all of it right mm -hmm. and that's why i'm saying if you focus on one thing that we go over today um do intermittent fasting okay that's going to be the biggest return on investment for what you're doing okay just as far as like your objective of like losing losing weight and then um losing uh body fat percentage sure okay but assuming that you're going to do more we'll go into the other stuff <laughs> yeah okay yeah. um so for diet um first of all what do you like what do you like to eat <laughs> um i know i guess meat and uh like, meat is good okay uh, like pasta or whatever I don't know. Uh, like rice is okay. Uh, like, um, some vegetables. Um, I don't remember the names of the vegetables, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and like cereal in the morning, whatever. Um, Okay. Mm, I don't know. And then my second question is in France, what is cheap? Like what's affordable? Um, <laughs> can, can you get chicken and, and is chicken, beef and fish, is any of that affordable in France? Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty affordable. Okay. I think. Um, yeah. uh, and to what, to what, uh, what would be cheaper? Would it be chicken, fish and beef? Like out of those three, which would be the cheapest? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know. Um, all right. So here's what I would, I would think, um, you want to, if you can, oh, do you do any dairy, yogurt, ice cream, anything like that? Um, no, uh, no. Okay. Um, are you willing to cook? Uh, sure. Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't mind that? No, it's okay. Okay. Um, what I would recommend, uh, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the sort of ideal diet and then you can, you can modify, I'm going to give you like the, if you are like absolutely 
going to go crazy, this is what you do. Okay. okay. And, and then you can take that and modify it to your knees. Um, I would do okay. absolutely no dairy. I would do um, no grains at all, especially white flour. Um, okay. Whole wheat, like whole wheat grains, whole wheat oats is okay. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Um, <laughs> you know white flour, right? Um, well, I know what it is, but I don't know in like exactly in what uh, it's contained. Any kind like... of pastries, any kind of cookies, any kind of crackers, any kind of um, uh, okay. yeah, any of that stuff would be uh, wicked bad. Um, white bread, very bad. Uh, okay. like croissants. Uh. <laughs> The baguettes? <laughs> what are they, what are they? Yeah. <laughs> no baguettes. <laughs> yeah. like, all that stuff's not good. Yeah. Um, or <laughs> at least in in moderation. I'm killing myself here. Oh my god. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, like so, when I went to when I went to France, I, I was in Paris for a month and a half, and I loved it. Oh my god, it was so amazing. Uh, and one of the reasons it was so amazing was because of the fucking pastries there. Yeah. They're so good. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, they're unbelievable. Honestly, like the one thing that I love in like French uh, cuisine is like the baguettes. Oh yeah. It's so uh, like it's so much better than normal um bread. Yeah, the so we just have like we have just like terrible tier bread in America that like when I when I when I had the bread in France it just it's not even a comparison, man. Like yeah. it's so much better. <laughs> So what I would do is I would pick like one or two. So, so the, one of the big things is like you being 18, you can get away with a lot, dude. Like you can, you can pick two days out of the week where you eat all that stuff and you'll be fine. I'd rather not do it still. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just telling you, like, it's up to you. Like a yeah. lot of, so one of the things I'll do is like, I'll definitely have a day out of the week where I kind of eat whatever I want. Right. And then the other six days I, I'm mm -hmm. pretty, I adhere. but even on that day, like that I'm eating whatever I want, I don't like go crazy. Okay. Like I'm not just going to do like eight bear claws or like croissants or something. Right. Like, yeah. It, yeah. But, um, yeah. So you want to avoid like the cookies, pastries. Um, so like this would be, so like, this would be like avoid cookies, pastries, um, white bread. Right. Um, okay. Is like, um, brown rice. Right. Um, and, um, you want to avoid pasta, all pastas. Okay. Um, any kind of thing like that. And then, um, the other thing I would, I would definitely say is you want to avoid like soda, um, or fruit juice. I don't juice. drink soda. You don't drink soda? No. Okay. That's huge. That's really good. Um, yeah, that might be an American thing, but any kind of like fruit juice, yeah. milk, all that stuff's really bad. Uh, just keep to water and tea. Um, okay. And then for, um, your actual meals, um, I mm. would, I would use chicken and fish as a base for as much as you can. Uh, is fish avoidable? <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Um, just like chicken, okay. fish, or red meat as a base. Okay, good. Yeah. I hate fish. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so if you're going to hate fish, you might consider an omega-3 supplement. I'll put that later. Um, so, okay. um, so actual meals, I do chicken, fish, and red meat. Um, for carbohydrates, I would do sweet potato, brown rice, or like quinoa. Um, any of these are fine. Or oh, sorry, and beans. Um, either lentils or uh, kidney beans or black beans are okay. really good. Um, and then mm -hmm. uh, for vegetables, I would do. Um, Anything like broccoli, cauliflower, um, and then like uh, you could have like salads on the side too, and you can kind of be creative with this. Um, I like you can. I, I'll usually do like um, I'll usually do like a, a pretty advanced salad. I'll put like I'll toss some beans in there. Um, I'll toss some. Oh, I have to update my title. Hang on. Um, Yes, I'm this famous about this. <laughs>
Um, rice is not worth the calories. Again, so um, I'm I'm the profile I'm giving him is specific to him. He's 18. He um he can very easily metabolize something like brown rice. If he was 30, yeah, I would agree with you. But um, the situation he's in right now, you can very easily metabolize that, and he'll get the benefits from it. Um, so I go. You can go pretty creative with salads. Um, I'll put a lot of like nuts in there. Um, so maybe like almonds, walnuts, stuff like that. Those are if you need to make up calories, you're losing too many calories. Like you can do that pretty easily through nuts. Um, mm-hmm. Let's see. Mm. I'm going to think of something <laughs> like when I, when we're done and I'm going to remember it right then, but yeah, these things are really good. Um, I, so usually what I'll do is I'll do like either chicken or fish and mm. then I'll do, and I'll do red meat too. Um, and I'll put a sweet, I'll, I'll usually have a sweet potato a day. I almost always do a sweet potato and then I'll have usually like a giant salad. I'll put, um, lettuce, tomato, um, usually an avocado. Avocados are fine too. I think they might be really expensive where you're at, but you can check it out. Um, okay. avocado, tomato. Let's see. You put a separate. And then I'll usually toss in like, um, some type of bean beans are a good way to make up carbohydrates and calories and they're a healthy way to do that. Um, okay. and, uh, yeah, I'll make a combination out of, of, of this in some way. I, I also do like dried blueberries and cranberries. I, I just like these, uh, pretty much any okay. fruit or vegetable at your age is fine. Um, there's going to be some people that meme you on fruit and they're full of shit. Like they, it doesn't really matter at, at your age. You can definitely get away with like, um, I'd, I'd say even high sugar fruits, like peaches and nectarines and stuff. Be okay. fine. There's really, really like, um, a lot of the people that, um, will say like, don't do any sugar or don't do anything like that are underestimating, um, how strong your body is at your age. You, you have a, you have a lot of, uh, of, uh, room. That that you the lot you can get away with uh, versus and, other people. I mean, I'd still rather like eat the optimized uh, diet instead of what I can get away with. Yeah, no? um, absolutely, and I'm giving you that. <laughs> um, it, yeah. Like, I'm giving you that if you want to be insane diet, pretty much. Um, yeah, we're yeah, doing okay. that. Um, yeah, <laughs> and then as far as there any questions so far on like actual meals. Um. I guess, like, uh, mm, what proportions of, like, in a, like, in a usual meal, like, what would be, like, the proportion of, like, the, of the meat of, uh, like, sweet potatoes, etc. Uh, with intermittent fasting, just eat until you're not hungry. Um, you won't, uh, as long as you're eating clean, it's going to be really difficult for you to exceed your caloric limit. Um mm. Intermittent fasting will kind of create a scenario where your body doesn't really want the um, the like the, the the calories. Like you'll 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 fill up pretty quick on like stuff. Like because your 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 base is chicken, fish, or red meat, um, you'll fill up pretty quick. I usually I eat a lot, but my output is really high, and yours isn't. So um, I'm usually burning like 500 to 600 calories a day. Um, okay. at least, I mean, like at a bare minimum. So, um, I'll usually have like even upwards of like a pound and a half, two pounds of meat a day. You won't need anywhere near that, um, to, to get to where you want to go. So just experiment with it. Don't worry about eating too much. As long as you're eating clean, where, where calories really add up is where you start doing like pastries and you like, you know, you eat like, you eat like three cream tarts and you're like, what the hell? I'm up 800 calories. Okay. Yeah, that's how that that's how that usually works. So as long as you avoid those foods, you should be totally fine. Um, if you're overeating with foods this clean, you'll know it, because you'll feel okay. you'll feel really full, and you'll be like, I don't want to eat. <laughs> okay. Um, anything else, like questions wise for that? Uh, for this, uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, for supplements. Because if you're yeah. gonna if you're avoiding fish, I would do an omega three supplement. 
Um, um, what's that? Omega three is a um, it's a it's it's an oil. Um, okay. and I'm pulling it up right now. Sorry. Just one sec. Mm. And I really like a company named Nordic Naturals. Um, I'll link it to you on Discord. Uh, do they ship to they Europe? Should, that they should, which is one of the reasons why I'm recommending it, yeah. Okay. Um, so Nordic Naturals is a um, pretty reliable omega-3 supplement. Um, so there's a specific type of oil in fish that mm. um, is very beneficial to your body, and it's it's mostly found in fish, and that's omega-3. So... If you're um, if you're not going to be eating any fish or very little fish, um, you should consider taking this supplement. Okay. Um, then I would probably do vitamin D three. Um, this is uh, and I'll link you one from this too. Um, vitamin D three is probably your most important supplement. I, if you do nothing else, I would take this supplement um, because since you're a gamer, you probably don't go outside that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right um yeah and so uh and so you're gonna want to um you're gonna want to uh take probably anywhere around um i would say 500 to a thousand iu a day um the problem is that you can't really know if you're at a deficiency for vitamin d3 unless you get a blood test but okay. this is just general health parameters uh what's what's iu <laughs> iu is the measuring unit for um you'll see it on every bottle of vitamin d3 so um here okay um so this is the one i use um it's it's super super cheap too um you can you can buy it here it's also a nordic naturals brand i tend to I, I tend to trust nordic naturals really well um they are they're really good about uh their quality control so this is a thousand mm -hmm. IU for this, and I usually take um, one to two a day. But that's that's my specific needs based on my blood tests. So okay. your your mileage may vary. You may want to take like one a day, probably be okay. Okay. Um, and then the only other supplement I'd really recommend for you is probably creatine, monohydrate. Uh, uh, okay, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, we're, that's why we're going through it. Yeah, and yeah, sure. no problem. Um. So creatine monohydrate is a, um, I take this one. Mm. Let's see. I'll link you this. Uh, I, I don't know if they have an equivalent of this in Europe, but literally creatine monohydrate is basically made equal. Um, you can buy the cheapest monohydrate on uh, or creatine on the market, and it's it's no different really than the other creatine. Um, creatine is a what's the word? Um, it's a thing found in <laughs> in, in like red meat, um, and it helps okay. with uh, it helps with your cognitive ability, so with your mind, but it also helps with muscle development. So um, creatine is going to be your kind of main um, way to get lean muscle in addition to the meat that you eat. So okay. you'll want to look at um, anywhere between like three to five grams a day, um, which you'll, which you'll be able to track out on your, when you, once you get it. Okay. Okay. And uh, so a couple of notes real quick, right? Um, yeah. I've done this for many, many, probably hundreds of people at this point, um, but I'm still not a doctor, okay? So, like, the, um, you'll get a lot better information about your specific needs from, like, a blood test uh, at an actual clinic where if you went in and you said, um, I'm looking for a blood test to get an idea of where I'm deficient in, mm -hmm. or where, where I'm lacking in certain uh, vitamins or nutrients – they mm -hmm. would be able to give you an output that's far greater than I can do just guessing here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the, the, the guidelines that I'm giving you right now are very general guidelines for all health. 
Um, but 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 if you do these things, we'll change your life. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like like it'll be nice. crazy how much how much different you'll feel and how much more energy you'll have and like everything. Um, it, it, it's a it's really a completely different shift. Um. Uh, like like you like you've just never seen it. it's crazy i can't i can't oversell it it'd be nuts yeah hope so and uh then um there's working out yeah. um for so an ideal if you're trying to gain lean muscle um mm-hmm. there's a really good are you are you will so be really honest when you say this are you willing to go to a gym and like do you think that like knowing the person you are could you go to a gym three times a week? Uh, depends. Sometimes I like I like motivation, but like I mean, I don't know. Like in the past, so there were periods when I was going to the gym like every other day, but mm-hmm. then there are periods where I don't go at all. So I don't know. Oh. So that's that's pretty normal. Let me give you the ideal, and then let me, let, let me give you what I think is like realistic. Um, I think the ideal is like going to the gym, like three times a week. Um, and then I think doing like a, like a lifting workout, like five by five. So strong lifts is what is, is really good. Um, it's basically just like really heavy compound lifts. I'll pull it up. Hold on. Um, so it's like stuff like doing bench press squats, deadlifts, overhead press, right? It's like really a basic workout. Um, the the thing I want to the most important thing if you get nothing else out of what I'm saying, um, mm. the perfect plan that you ignore, right, is worse than the semi okay plan that you actually follow, right? So you want to set do, stuff up. Uh, okay, so you want to set stuff up in a way that is that you're actually going to do it. Yeah. Um. So if you're like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to be Superman. I'm only going to eat chicken. Um, I'm only going to, I'm going to run 10 miles a day. I'm going to lift 10 billion pounds a day. Like you're not going to do that shit, right? We're going to stay and play video games. We're nerds, yeah. right? Yeah. So we have to be realistic <laughs> okay. b- about what we're doing. Yeah. Um, so you, you have to be really realistic about what you're doing. So, um, I think that like a three, three time a week, like strong lifts type workout is optimal. If you can't do that, just get some cardio um, go for a run like twice a week. Um, it, it, find out what you, so the best, it, the best, uh, advice I have for exercise is find out what you like. Um, okay. you, you might like, it, it could be anything, dude. Like, I don't know you, like it could be playing basketball. It could be tennis. You might, I love dancing. Right. So that's how, like one of the reasons why I burn six or 700 calories, um, a day is because I dance a ton, right? Like I, I dance like crazy cause I just love it. Oh, and um, from what uh, from what I've tried, I prefer lifting than like doing actual sports. Yeah. Okay. So then, like, um, I think like the strong list workout could work for you. And just okay. keep it to three times a week and don't make it complicated. Um, if if I look up like five by five strong strong lifts on Google, do I like can I find what it is exactly? Or? First result. Yeah. Um, okay. But just in case, I'm sending you a link anyway. Yeah. Okay, because I have no idea what it means. <laughs> and okay. uh, for chat, here are the links that I've sent so far. Um, yep, um, just like find out what you like. Um, uh, it, 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 by percentage, I would say that nutrition and um, like the kitchen is 70% of the battle and working out is only 30% of the battle. So if you don't stay consistent with working out, but you stay consistent with your eating, you'll be fine. Mm. Okay. You'll achieve all your goals without doing any kind of, um, uh, workouts. I think. Even being lean. Yeah. Um, because I think creatine should support you in that and your body fat percent should naturally lo- Um, so the, the difference is time, right? It might take longer to do, um, mm. you might be looking at a window of like six months to a year. Um, if you're, if you're not doing any kind of workouts and if you're doing a workout and you keep your nutrition exactly, you'll probably get there a lot faster. Okay. Um, um, I, how, how does it work with, um, the intermittent 
fasting? Like, do I go to work out like during the eating period or? Okay. So like, how... is there no difference or how does it work? That's a, that's a great question. Um, so scientifically there is a difference mm -hmm. between, uh, eating proteins at certain times and the mm -hmm. benefits that that will have from working out. I can tell you from personal experience, just ignore all that shit. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna be too complicated. Like, um, you're gonna get lost in it and the benefit is like 10 to 15%. It's nothing like it's, it's, um, uh, I always work out fasted. Okay. I, I, I will never, I never like eat protein within 20 minutes of working out. Like, yes, there are objective benefits you can gain from doing that stuff. But dude, I'm telling you, if you make this that complicated, you're not going to do it. Thank you. I promise. It's like, it really doesn't like, it's okay if I do like go to work out in the middle of the fasting period. Absolutely. I do it all the time and I, and I look really good. <laughs> and a lot of people that I've trained and that I've worked with look really good. Yeah. Um, f fasting while working out is completely fine. Um, the, uh, your, your, as long as you're eating at some point and you're eating enough protein for your body to rebuild, you'll be okay. Okay. Yeah. Like okay. it'll, it's, that's a rabbit hole. You can never end. Like, it's like, Oh, but 17.35 minutes after my workout, I have to have 34.4 grams of pro whey protein. And if I don't, then I don't get my gains. Like that is a, that is a really, I, I I've like, I know almost no one that can keep to that kind of, um, okay. yeah, that kind of discipline. It's just but, not going to happen. Um, do like you personally, like, do you, feel better or worse when you like go to work out after eating or like or in the middle of fasting or... i personally always feel um amazing when i don't eat and okay. um so one of the big reasons why i do a 20 uh, hour window of no eating is mm. when i wake up i'll start i'll get to work right away i'll be high energy throughout the whole day and then i'll stream uh, usually until about like 30 minutes or so from now. And mm -hmm. um, I'll have, I'll, I'll start cooking like 30 minutes ago, which I just did. And then all my energy is still intact for all the work I need to do. And then I'll just eat and chill for the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. And that works amazingly for me. And yeah, I do all my workouts. Like today I went for a really rigorous walk yesterday. I did a run the day before that. I did a huge like dancing session, burned like 800 calories, um, all that was fasted. I feel freaking amazing. I have no drops in energy. Um, you'll, you'll be the same. The only time you'll get screwed on that. If you eat a lot of sugar the day before, um, mm -hmm. then you'll, uh, you'll usually have an energy drop the next day. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was something else I wanted to ask, but I forgot. Let me see if it's in your DM. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, fuck. Oh, did you want to know about keto? uh sure um don't worry about it yeah it, it, it okay. it's it's kind of um it's kind of a meme i mean like the benefits of keto are um uh, are objective but the amount of work you have to go through to do it is just like so there's a lot of things in the nutrition and fitness world this is my personal opinion there's a lot of things in the nutrition and fitness world that just don't like the cost of doing it doesn't add up to the benefit. Um, if you're already doing intermittent fasting, so presumably you're cutting calories automatically, like keto uh -huh. is not going to provide you a lot of benefits. Like nutrition is very simple, right? Eat less, you'll lose weight. Eat more, <laughs> you'll gain weight, <laughs> right? Like um, okay. most of the benefits of something like keto uh, come from the fact that people will stop eating chips cookies hmm. and stuff like that right because they have to only eat meat right okay yeah. yeah um i would just not worry about it like um the best advice i can give is like 
make this plan for you as basic as possible, the easiest thing you can imagine to follow, then when you stay consistent with this for three months, you have permission to add to it. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, before that, just don't even. Um, okay. all, all, of the, all of the discipline that I have in my nutrition and my working out has been built. Like I started with like the tiniest block. Like, okay. Actually, the, one of the ways that I started was I said I was going to have a salad a day. And I eat whatever the hell I wanted. Like I, I would eat everything else. Like I'd eat pizza, cookies, whatever. But that one thing was I was going to do that salad a day. And then okay. from there I said, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to have one meal that is meat and salad. And then like, and then mm. I moved forward with that. Right. Just like, um, when I started running, I'm like, I'm going to run from this location to like, you know, less than a hundred meters away. And, um, mm. then I ran a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. And then it's like, then people were like, Oh my God, Moxia, like, how do you do all this stuff? Well, I just built myself up to it because if I tried to absorb a, um, a uh, curriculum or a discipline like I just laid out for you here, I would die. Mm -hmm. But I'm the laziest person you could possibly imagine, right? So like, um, that's why I'm saying like, if all else breaks down, just keep consistent with your intermittent fasting. It'll make a huge difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, also, what I wanted to ask, um, even if it's not like, even if it's not important for, for now, like. When I hear people talking about counting calories, I don't really understand how, how it works. Like, how do you count calories? Um, how I do it is I use a website called MyFitnessPal. Okay. And what it does is I'm pulling it up on the screen right now. And there's a database of food. So you can type anything. So let's type chicken breast. Okay. We'll search. And uh, here, we'll pull it up. Roasted chicken breast. Boom. Right. Um, mm -hmm. or, uh, we'll find one that actually has measurements. So one pound of chicken right here. That's not right. Uh, <laughs> um, that's some like weird meme. Here we go. One. Uh, so here's like one pound of chicken and it'll give you the exact macros for, um, how much calories it is, how much protein you get, how much sugar is right. And then I'll just click add. Okay. And then I'll find okay. my next food. I'll find like, okay, I ate a tomato today. And then it will come up uh -huh. with um, one medium tomato. Okay, add, right? And then I'll, I'll list all that mm -hmm. out. And it will give me a diary of... Um, this program is completely free, by the way. Um, okay. It'll give me a diary of if I'm meeting my macros or not. And uh, you, you can do this. Um, I So what I... Actually, what I would recommend is I did this for like the first like three or four months that I was doing nutrition. And then mm -hmm. I, I memorized the caloric requirements that I had. And like the, like you'll you, like after a while of inputting chicken fucking 50 times a, a week, you'll be like, I know right. what a chicken does. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, so actually this might be a cool thing for you to do just to learn like what the foods do. Okay. Like, so uh, I should like, like weigh um, everything that I uh, eat. No, 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 before. don't weigh it. Jesus. Um, just take a guess. I, like, uh, generally like you'll know, okay. um, like, well, like one, one medium tomato is fine. And that's very good to guess. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, well, you, you know, the difference between a large tomato and a medium tomato probably. Uh, you definitely do. I, <laughs> I, have, I, guess. I have way more faith that like you could definitely do it. Like this, this looks like a small tomato. You put small, right. Or this looks and then, like, <laughs> <laughs> okay oh man and then when you buy it when you buy like a chicken it'll tell you how heavy it is <laughs> right okay yeah but like it's 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 okay yeah if you if you're gonna weigh like your stuff you're you're screwed i, I don't know how you're gonna do that <laughs> okay yeah that's like some crazy level of uh um a word i can't use on twitch uh, a, a, you'd be a very focused person to, <laughs> to have to do that yeah, okay yeah <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, also, um, do you, like, um, is your sleeping schedule important or no? Um, 
No, I would say as long as you're keeping the same intermittent fasting hours. So that's why. So that's another reason why I set my intermittent fasting hours very late at night. So I so eight to eight to twelve a.m. or eight. Sorry, I don't know Europe time, um, but uh, my time. I I start like the sun goes down, and two hours after oh. I start eating, and then midnight is when I stop. Right. So um, that works for me because there's no way I can screw that up. Uh, even if I get up at 2 p.m., then I still am going to have that window. If you sleep through your window, that's really bad. Don't do that. So okay. that's why you may not want to have your window in the morning. Okay. Because um, some days I get up it, at 2. Uh, is it uh, just important to keep a regular, a regular uh, schedule or? Sleep schedule? No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, if you can, uh, don't mess it up. Um, every human being needs a different amount of sleep, but almost everyone, um, is between seven and nine hours and mm -hmm. you don't want to mess that up if you can avoid it. Um, sleep is really, really important. Um, it sucks, but there's no way to hack it. Um, okay. there's no, there's no science showing that, uh, you can get by with little sleep. Um, it will mess you up. You'll have way increased rates of Alzheimer's, way increased rates of um, diabetes and all kinds of bad stuff. It's it's bad. Have you looked into like polyphasic sleep names? I've done everything I can to try to sleep less. And I'm telling you, <laughs> there there's no reliable science that allows you to sleep less healthily. You can get away with it, but you're going to pay. You're going to pay. Okay. Yeah. It sucks. Okay. Uh... I wish I had a better answer mm -hmm. for you. I don't. The military has spent a hundred years trying to research getting, uh, making their soldiers sleep less. You can't do it. Okay, yeah. but uh, I should keep uh, at least a regular, uh, regular schedule, right? I like... would say at a minimum sleep seven hours, and uh, and uh, like or a minimum sleep six, but like seven to eight is your optimal. Is it, is it important to do it at around the same at this, around the same times every day or no? Yeah, um, because your body will develop a uh, your body has a sort of clock um, yeah. where it'll it, it can kind of um, uh, this is like this is complicated, but like there's a bunch of different uh, what what are called hormones. Um, so ones mm -hmm. like melatonin, like the like there's a bunch of different hormones that are released based on how your body is used to you being awake or or when you're asleep and okay. if you um if you don't if you sleep inconsistently those hormones will be all over the place and okay. uh and so you'll have all kinds of like bad memes happen ah. yeah oh i sleep very inconsistently so fuck mm. yeah this is something that you um <laughs> Uh, I, I would, I would be okay with, um, as long as you're getting the sleep hours, mm. it's, it's probably fine at your age. Uh, as long as you're getting, um, seven to eight hours on a 24 hour cycle, you should be all right. Um, okay. just, just try to make sure that you sleep the, the most amount of hours. If you can be consistent, but again, like, I don't expect you to be Superman. Like do, do, do everything you can. Nobody's perfect. Anybody that tells you they're perfect, they're lying. <laughs> they're lying. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> they're lying straight up. Uh, uh, is it really like not important to um, sleep like if you sleep at day or at night? Um, there's some pretty bad. So so you you're so imagine yourself as like you're the you're the result of tens of thousands of years of evolution, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. so, so certain codes have been built into you over that time. Mm -hmm. And one of those yeah. is probably some people's ancestry. This is not the case, but almost everybody is, um, a night sleeper. So, okay. um, y your, your hormones and your body will respond much better if you sleep through the night. And there's a lot of studies that point to people having adverse health conditions, uh, who sleep during the day. Okay. Um, that's you. Like you go to sleep at like two or three a.m. Right? 
3 a.m. Right? Yeah, like, I from what I've seen. I yes, yeah. I, I personally go to sleep around. Um, I, I well lately I've been going to sleep around twelve or one. That's that's what I should be doing. I wake up around like six or seven. Um, but yeah, okay. usually I go to bed at like two or three. And sometimes I fall okay. completely off the meme wagon. And I go to bed at like five or six, but that makes me hate myself. And I definitely feel a lot worse when I do it. Okay. Um, the, the best advice I can give for sleeping consistently, um, okay. don't use any kind of computer. Actually, don't do anything in bed besides sleep and fuck. <laughs> Literally, that's it. Okay. Like, like sleep and have sex. Everything else, do somewhere else so that you sort of train your body to have that bedtime schedule and then avoid any kind of blue light. Um, there's a program called Flux. Have you heard of it? No. It's called uh, F-L-U-X. It's free. Get it. It's really good. Okay, Flux. Um, Flux, is, uh, Flux is awesome. So what it does is it lowers the, um, the blue light in your computer monitor and adds yellow mm -hmm. light so that your body um, starts producing um, better hormones to get you to go to sleep. I love Flux. It's really okay. good. Um, by the way, uh, like, will you s could you send me like at the end the uh, notepad like with all the oh, yeah. sure. stuff written on it? Okay. It'll be easier to remember. Yep. Well, it's going to be Please. on YouTube too, so you'll be okay. But there you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this conversation is going to be on YouTube. Yeah. You're famous. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It can help a lot of people. Yeah. Nice. My one minute of fame. Well, quite, quite hardly. I'm not Steven or anything. I mean, I, like, I'm just a, I'm a, I'm a pretty, uh, I'm a pretty small dude. No, should have gone to Steven. Yeah. Yeah. No, who do you, who do you think's giving him nutrition advice? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> yeah. But he's taking on the intermittent fasting stuff and it's done really well for him. So. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, uh, so how much time should be like between um like looking at the screen and going to sleep? Ideally, about an hour or two. Um, okay. but if you're using Flux, you'll be a little bit better on that. Okay. Uh, I, I don't do that by the way. Like, like, um, that's, I love screens and stuff. Like I'll look at my phone, yeah, like so. before I go to bed, but like, yeah, like this, these are just, we're just talking about ideals, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I'll definitely use Flux. Okay. Flux is really good. Yeah. And, and your, your monitor will get super yellow and you're like, damn, I should be in bed. Like it'll, it, it helps you a lot in a lot of different ways. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, and uh, can I ask like questions about uh, other like stuff or no? Like, well, yeah, if I can answer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's some stuff I don't know. Yeah, but was, no, if, but if it's... I mean, like completely unrelated, like uh, areas and like not fitness. Oh yeah, go for it. I mean, like if it if it's if it concerns human performance, I'm really knowledgeable in it. Um, if if it's if it's uh, if I can't answer it, then I don't know, and I'll tell you. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess um, I don't know very much about your history, but your uh, like, how did you start um, after like high school or college or like, did you go to college? I did. Yeah, I double majored in uh, psychology and business. Okay. It it didn't uh, help did me you... at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't do anything with what those degrees. Do, what did you do after college? What's that? What did you do after college? Like how did you start out your career? Um, so as a caveat, um here, hang on one second. Uh since we're talking about something different. This is pretty much the last of the nutrition memes. Um yeah. let's see. Uh Um, so as a caveat, um, I can't work for other people. Um, I, yeah. I just, I just can't, uh, I, I, I have to be my own boss and this has been mm. a kind of like probably oh. a net negative. Yeah. Um, because I just, uh, I, I, I sort of wish I could, work a high paying job that like a lot of decisions were made for me. And, um, 
Uh, yeah, you do have good questions. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the first thing I did out of college was I started my own business. So I, I started a business when I was 16 that sold um, eBooks. Oh, shit. And then... At 16. Yeah. And then, I, and then after that, um, I ran a marketing company. And uh, my marketing company um, was... Uh... <laughs> my marketing company... Um, sold products and or helped people sell products and services there you go man <laughs> big brain <laughs> and then after that I, I started an it company um it company was like for computer repair i helped grandmas um like uh fix their stuff and uh talk to like old people um okay <laughs> and um, then so after um... that <laughs> yeah uh after that i i um I, I, I kind of got done with those companies and then, um, I started streaming on Twitch because, uh, I was also getting into motivational speaking at the time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so I did motivational speaking a bunch, like te teaching people how to live the, be the best versions of themselves and yada, yada, yada. Um, very short abbreviated background is like, I did that, um, got into Twitch to do the same thing. I wanted to come on here and like talk to people about self-help and personal development um, became obsessed with that. I read over 700 self-help books, 700. Um, it was a, a crazy number, everything from Tony Robbins to Tim Ferriss, to everything you can, if, if there's a, if there's like a top rated self-help book on Amazon, I've read it. Um, and then mm -hmm. from there, I took that knowledge, went to do life coaching for team Dignitas. Um, but I had a lot of business knowledge from starting businesses. So I, um, ended up running an A for them. And then uh, ran North America for Team Dignitas and then uh, took a position in Catawaja Gaming as CEO. Then we sold that company to Madison Square Garden. Um, and I was like, man, I really don't want to do... Well, oh, that's not true. Like, what, what, what actually happened was like I thought about what made me the happiest and like when I was happiest in my life. And it was when I was doing broadcasting and entertaining people and uh, um, you know making people happy via this platform. So I went back and I did it. Okay. Okay, so like what I ask is like you don't know what to I, do. <laughs> like yeah, I have no idea what to do. Like I feel kind of the same. Like I can't work for other people, uh, even though like I haven't like actually worked uh, for others yet. But I know like going after going to school and like how I feel myself. I feel like I definitely couldn't do it. And, and also, like, after going to high school, like, I hated high school, not because it was, like, hard or anything, but, like, you know, like, just the system, like, and I know it feels like it doesn't fit for me, you know? Yeah. So, like, I have no idea what to do with my life now, basically. So, uh, yeah. Um... 700 with an average of $20 a book. First of all, who pays 20 bucks for a book? Second of all, 14K was worth its weight in platinum. It was worth its weight in freaking unobtainium, my dude. I would have spent three times that much to get to where I am today. Holy. Um, sorry. Okay, so like um, the best advice I can give you, give you, I can give you two pieces of advice that help me a lot since you seem a lot like me in this way. Um, mm -hmm. The first one is being 18 is awesome. Mm -hmm. I would give you all my money, everything that I have, all of my assets, everything, my computer, my desk, my stuffed animals, everything, if I could trade ages with you. The, dude, I'll take the trade. The, what's that? I'll take the trade. No, do not do it. <laughs> no, don't do it. I know you think that. I know you think that. But it's like, don't do it. <laughs> it, it is it is um that is a deal with the devil because the the most <laughs> valuable thing you have is time it is so insane what you can accomplish with the time you have like um the the number one thing i would suggest is like try as many things as you possibly can any way you possibly can and and the second thing i'll tell you and this will be a, a meme that everybody hates me for um Never, ever be afraid to work for free 
in a place where you will be learning like crazy, right? Like um, okay. if you can get away with it, find someone you really respect in, that's doing something that you really love and do everything you can to be around that person. Mm -hmm. um, this was one of the ways that I became pretty good at stock investing is I, I got lucky enough to be around a person that um, I, I wanted to um, learn from. And I literally like hit this guy up at a Starbucks and I was like, Bruce, anything I can do for you, I will, I will dance. I will squish grapes. I will do anything. Meet with me once a week here and tell me what you know. And most people will be willing to do that. Most people will love to mentor you because everybody has a huge ego and loves to talk about themselves. Really? So yeah, Thanks. really. As a young person, abuse this. You can find some, you'd be so surprised, dude. Okay, as CEO of CLG, the number of people that sent me an email every mm -hmm. day. How do I get into esports? How do I get the, your job? How do I become you? was like 15 to 20 a day. The number of people that emailed me and said, I will work and do whatever you want. All I want to do is learn. I have no outcome. I don't want to be you. I don't want to have like all that money. I like all, whatever you do, all I want to do is just learn from you in any way I possibly can. I'll do anything N next to zero. Anyone that did became an intern at CLG. Really? Yeah. The number like, of the, the like successful people, all, all that successful people get, they just get it. They just get bombarded by people that either want what they have, or um, just want like the quick five minute solution to, to to getting where they're at. Like, if you were still a CEO of CLG, like, would you, if someone sent you, like, uh, like asked you to meet up and like talk uh, about the like, esports, etc., or like work for you for free, like would you like really accept it? Yeah, like, just like that. Um, uh, if as long as I as long as I didn't detect that that person was full of shit and really wanted something else, um, yeah, and and almost all successful people that I talk to would do the same. Um, if you come from a place that is your authentic self and you're going to them to provide value in exchange for knowledge, that is an age old thing, right? That goes back to blacksmithing. That goes back to apprenticeship. Like that's, that's a very mm -hmm. real thing that there's, I think, a sort of human impetus to do for people. Um, you'll be very surprised how a successful person will respond to you. And look, like maybe you don't get exactly what you want. Maybe like if you go to a billionaire in France and you say, look, I, I love what you do. Um, I, 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 I would love to learn. I'll do anything. They may, you may not get a personal apprenticeship with that person. They may, they may delegate you to a person on their team that, that can help you. Um, they, but, but like, I promise you working that shit job. Do you know how I got into esports in the first place? No, I went to team Dignitas and I said, your players need help psychologically to be the best they can be. I will fly <laughs> myself down there. I will work for free. I will do anything you want. And I will ask nothing in return. All I want to do is provide value. Mm. That's how I got into esports, straight up. <laughs> and I and I worked for free for uh, six months, and I never ever asked for a dime. It was okay, Odie that came to me. Odie came to me and he said, I'll, I, "I need to pay you. This is ridiculous." Okay, how do you survive then? <laughs> um, so it's hard, right? Like that's the that's the uh, that's the difficulty of it. Like, um, yeah. Um, I, if, if I, um, were you, I would take a job where you feel like you're learning from that job. And then uh -huh. I would also spend a few hours a week with your mentor trying to learn that other skill that you're interested in. I do. Uh, both. I mean, from, for minimum wage jobs, you can't really find a lot of things that really like interest you. <laughs> yeah. Know. Yeah. Um, then like, dude, you, 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 you bite the bullet. And, uh, and you just, you just, you just work there and then you spend yeah. all of your other time. Um, yeah. but I, I still okay. think there's gotta be something that you can do that might be like, uh, that might teach you leadership or teach you how to work with others. Um, don't just flip burgers, like find a way to find a way to where you have to deal with people and, uh, and you have to be charismatic. Like, um, uh, dude, I'm telling you the very fact that you're here with me today and that you're 18 years old and you're and you're asking me this shit, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> like you're gonna be I'm fine. Sure. <laughs> like I, 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 I'm, I'm telling you. I mean, I'm really not sure. 
The uh, very fact that you're not sure is why you're going to be fine too. <laughs> if you were sure, I'd be worried. <laughs> I'm worried too, but I'm worried for the future. I don't know. Yeah, man, I'm still worried. <laughs> like, I, that's 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 um, that's uh, it's really it's 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 really important. Yeah. Most people don't uh, care. Yeah, but I don't know like most people also like adjust more easily, like you know, into like they have more ease at working like a nine to five job, at going to college, etc. But I don't know. I don't feel like I could do that. Yeah. So, in some way, uh, other people have it a bit easier. I guess. I don't know. I I, I, I wonder think. if they don't just fool themselves into it. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. But I yeah, know. I mean, regardless, dude. Like, I've been the same person. <laughs> like, um, there was, uh, there was, like, I just, whenever I saw a successful person, I still do this actually. Like, um, if you talk to anybody that knows me, that's like a really successful person, they'll tell mm -hmm. you their my first interaction with them is like this obnoxious, like me following them around. Like, what is your life? How do you do this? When do you sleep? How much food do you eat? How many calories do you eat? What was your first job? What's your first skill? What do you think are the top three things you do to be productive? I'll just go down this like fucking list and I have pages and pages that I've written from like literally to this day, anyone that I meet that is more successful than me, I will grill the shit out of that person until I totally understand what makes them tick. Then I'll take 500 of those people I'll, I'll, I'll distill the top three things. Like with, if every one of them says, I read books, which they did. Everyone told me they read books, nonfiction books. I was mm -hmm. like, I'm reading books, right? At all, mm -hmm. Like 80% or more of the people that I ever asked those questions to, they all meditate. So I said, I'm going to meditate, right? Um, okay. a, a very high percentage of those people uh, exercised every day. So I said, I'm an exercise, like, right? Like I, I'm not, I'm the, I'm the sum of the successful people that I have that I have um, managed to tackle and ask enough questions to before they run away. Okay, but I know, like to me, like this successful, like popular people seem like as very like inaccessible. You know, like if I send, for example, like a, a, a tweet, a Twitter DM or something like to I don't know to I'm a cutie pie asking how to become a league pro. Like, well, yeah. I feel like, I feel like he will just like leave me on read and on red and, uh, like not answer. And so can I, can I tell you how to fix that? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you'll never, ever get Michael, right? Um, like just an example. Like, yeah, yeah, no, not... I know. Yeah. So, so yeah, like, okay. that's good. Like you're not going to get Michael. You're right. Like you're never going to hit that yeah. dude. Okay. What about yeah. all of the other smaller streamers who are running a hundred person broadcasts? And they're all challenger. Mm -hmm. Could you learn okay. League of Legends from one of those people as well as you could from Michael? Yeah, I you guess. totally could. But you just want to yeah. get the guy with the 500k followers, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the game. Uh, okay, but uh, um, if like I want to, sorry, let's uh, not take League as example. Then like, let's take I don't know, like um, for example, Reynad. I it's someone who I look up to, mm -hmm. kinda. So like, if I send an email to Rain and asking like how he built his like uh, uh, his uh, what's the name in English, like Tempest Storm. Yep. Like how I'll he built it, etc. Yeah, like I'll never get a response. Yeah. So how about going to Panda Global, which is run by a, a guy named David? He has a Geico sponsorship. He has tons of players. They have 55k followers on Twitter, and um, he'll answer you within a couple hours. And he'd be he'd be love to have a call with you. Good friend of mine. Okay. See what I'm saying? Never heard about it. Yeah, but <laughs> you, do, do you see the concept? It's like if if I if I want to learn swimming, yeah. and I call Michael Phelps, he's gonna tell me to go fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> but but if I if I call the third Olympian gold medalist from the Olympics eight years ago. That guy's gonna be readily available, right? And, and, and he has as much value to add to me as um, uh, as, as as anybody, maybe more, right? Um, so what I'm saying is like, don't get caught up in the numbers, don't get caught up in the fame, 
Um, the, uh, the, um, uh, Look at look at this guy, right? He's sponsored by Twitch. He's sponsored by Funimation. He's sponsored by Geico. He's sponsored by HyperX. These are Matt Toshiba. These are mm-hmm. massive companies, right? Mm-hmm. You could learn as much as Raynad has to offer you from Tempo Storm as you as you could from David. Okay. Yeah. So it should look like for the um, make less popular, but like still successful. Yeah, like when, that that yeah. was the the big thing, dude. Is like when everybody was oh god, this drove me crazy. Ah, oh, it drives me crazy now. <laughs> I, I was getting 25 emails a day when I was yeah. um when I was CEO of CLG. I leave CLG. I know the same shit I fucking knew at CLG as I do today, right? Probably more. And if nobody sends you emails and I don't ever get emails. No, never. <laughs> like like you DM that, that's why when you DM me, you're like, hey, can I ask some questions? I'm like, yeah. I'm, like, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> like, right, right, right. Like, like, yeah, like, you know, like it, it's it's crazy. Like, um, this appeal to popularity shit is like why people get lost. Like, yeah, you're never gonna find a mentor if you're going after every one million Twitter follower dude. Okay. Yeah. 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 And I felt like you received like one thousand DMs per day. Like <laughs> I don't know. I Hell no. Nobody gives a shit about me. <laughs> I mean, like, the easiest way to get a hold of me is just, like, you can just go on my Discord, and um, I'm, mm. uh, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm just there. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. It's cool that you're so, like, accessible. Yeah, and I'll always yeah. try to do that, right? Like, um, uh, I'll always try to create systems, like, um, geez, I think, like, my biggest account is, like, my Instagram account. And like, it's not even that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and then the other thing too, is like, um, like, like remember just, just because a person has a following doesn't mean they can necessarily provide value. Like I guarantee go like Reggie has what from TSM. He has like what, like a million followers or something. That guy can't teach business nearly as well as I can. He, he the, the, the dude isn't even fucking close. Right. Like he's going to give you he's gonna give you a bunch of bullshit advice. Cause he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He never thought. It through. Like, like, right. Like it, the, the difference is like, like I, I thought it through. I read the books. I put in the time. I don't have the followers, but I can, I can do it. Right. Okay. I see. Okay. Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like um, find something you love to do and, and do exactly what you just did. I mean, you just like you literally DM'd a dude that um, you know, I'm pretty small, but I, I know my shit in this area. I like if you ask me about like dude, how do I really want to build a rocket? Like, how do I build a rocket? I don't know. You know, but like like, you know, I this, I have mastery in this area. I can provide value. Like find other people like me that have you know, it might, they might not even not even have a Twitter account. All, all the dudes that I learned business from, they don't even have social media accounts. Like this. <laughs> well, um, I, well, I don't think I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, yes. <laughs> that, I mean, was Twitter, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that was savage. Yeah. That was savage, dude. Poor, poor Steven, man. <laughs> oh, man. Hope he'll get it <laughs> He won't. <laughs> I think, I think he's, yeah. I, I was actually trying. I, I contacted a bunch of people. At, not a bunch. I contacted two people at Twitter that I knew. I tried to help them out, but uh, no sale. Yeah, it's too bad. The, at least Nicolas Fuentes and other people like that are yeah, still on Twitter. Yeah, at least they're still on Twitter. No problem there. So it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. But yeah, dude, try stuff out and um and, and don't underestimate the power of mentors. It's gonna help you a lot. Okay. And never forget that I have a lot of faith in you, dude. Like your your ability to listen and to learn is so far beyond. Dude, nobody nobody that's 18 gives a shit, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel very special. That's why you are special, okay? Don't ever don't ever uh, lose not nice. feeling special. Nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, um, I probably should get to my intermittent fasting and all those memes. Um, uh, damn. Yeah. Okay. But if there's uh, if there's ever any other questions that you have, um, hit me up in Discord, or we can do another one of these talks too sometime. Uh, I mean, yeah, could I have like another talk sometime in the future? Because yeah, like, there's something, like, there's still like stuff for us to ask, I guess. Yeah, of course, man. Um, just like stay active in the community, come say hi and stuff, and like we'll just pull you in. I don't know. I'm more of a lurker than like chatter. I don't know. Just post an emoji every once in a while, and I'll know you're there. 
Nice. Yeah, just just post a just post a lol or whatever. Or what, yeah, there there it is, man. And, uh, uh, and I made this meme. Like, I need like I need more chatters to be putting emojis in. Like, I love when the chat's active, dude. Like, yeah. So just like just post an emoji. It'll be fine. <laughs> you okay. can post this one. I like this is one of my favorites. <laughs> and then I also like this guy. All these are really nice. great. Yeah. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> All right, dude. Um, okay. I, I really hope I provided some value and that I could help out a little bit. Yeah. Um, could I like talk to you sometime late, sometimes later this week or? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can have a follow up. I don't, I don't know how you start your schedule is. Or oh, I'm incredibly busy, dude. I've got, <laughs> yeah. I've got a lot of video games to play. <laughs> yeah. Do, okay. Uh, do you know any recent video games that are good to play? Because I have no idea what to play now. Um, this list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is is my best bet right now. I'm playing Relics of War. Well, I'm, I'm not really, but I, I should be. Um, and <laughs> not from, really, but I should be. <laughs> yeah, it's a Warhammer 4X. But uh, these are these are the main these are the main memes right now. It's we're at a, we're at a pretty mm -hmm. big drought for games right now. I'll take a screenshot. All right. Uh, any uh, other, are there any good like RP RPGs recently? Octopath Traveler for the Switch is really good. <laughs> if you have a Switch. You think I have a Switch? <laughs> no, I don't have one either. <laughs> you damn right, a yeah. me player. Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wish there was like another Skyrim, another like something like that. We all do. No. <laughs> yeah, that is what we wish. Yeah, um, Realm Royale is pretty fun. It's free too. Realm Royale. Yeah, uh, I don't really like battle royales. Yeah. I mm. Like, I played League before, but I quit it because I don't know. Like, I just got pissed when when I was playing it. Path of Exile is really good. Um, yeah, I played it for a while, but I know, after like, and I lost lost the spark. I got bored. Gotta play um, hardcore. <laughs> is do you lose your character when you die at hardcore? Oh yeah, that's the whole point. Oh fuck no! I what? hate it. You can't. I, I like, Path it, of Exile shouldn't even have a softcore mode. <laughs> it really shouldn't. I know, like I hate I hate losing progress. So and I I, I never wolves. like. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm a casual gamer. Yeah, it's okay. I'm sorry too, but it's... <laughs> What's Fear the Wolves? As far as RPGs, I don't know. Um... No, now I play like World of Warcraft with a friend because I don't, know, I don't know what else to play. Another BR? Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> when does it one. stop? We just had a BR release this week. Oh my God. <laughs> That's insane. Good oh, lord. Man. All right, I gotta bounce, my dude. All I'm right, I'll I'm, see ya. I'm gonna close up the stream, um, and I'm gonna talk to these guys for a few minutes. But yeah, thank All you right. so much for coming out. Um, I really hope I could help. I'll contact you later this week, I guess. Yep, you got it, buddy. Thank, thank you for everything. It's my absolute pleasure. Thank you for contacting me and not DMing. I'm a cutie pie. Or red. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna <laughs> DM my kids by the tour. <laughs> it's okay. All right, dude, I'll catch up no with you later. Of getting an answer. Yeah, okay. See ya. Later. That's a super cool guy. I'm glad we talked to him.